Hi there, it's Jenna Hollenstein from Eat to Love. I just got back from a wonderful workshop in Boston with Marcy Evans and Fiona Sutherland, both RDs. It's called the Body Image Workshop from Four Clinicians. And I can't say enough about this experience and how much love and work went into creating it. And two of the takeaways from this workshop that I thought I would share with you and things that I've been contemplating um, in how our meditation practice can support a, a different type of relationship with food in our bodies. One is just to acknowledge how difficult it could be at times to have a body. You know, on the one hand, we're so incredibly lucky that we have these human bodies that run on their own and that are master adapters to everything that we throw at them. And on the other hand, sometimes it's just really hard to be in a body. And obviously this is influenced by lots of different things. Um, many of which I don't have the experience of and, and can't really speak to directly, but all things that influence what it's like to live in these bodies. And so, I'm very conscious of the ways in which when things happen in our lives that feel difficult or out of control, it can be very tempting and almost instinctual to turn towards our bodies with aggression and blame. Like I'm having stomach problems, must be something that I'm eating that's causing this, this discomfort, or I'm having acne, maybe I should give up dairy. And it's not to say that those things aren't the causes of our physical discomfort, but maybe it's possible to insert a pause before we jump to the, the problem solving approach of fixing our bodies to just acknowledge how difficult it can be and how we often feel a lot of discomfort and even pain and, and trauma and, and extreme difficulty in our bodies. And this is why they require our care and our warmth and our affection, not our aggression or harshness. And the second thing that I've been thinking about, and this workshop really got me considering it. In part, it's also because my friend Susan Piver has this new book coming out, The Four Noble Truths of Love, which is about relationships, as in real relationships that are really messy and hard. Um, but I've been thinking about relationships a lot, and I've been thinking about the body a lot, and one of the things that I'm taking away from this workshop is the idea of the relationship with our bodies and how in some ways we have a romanticized ideal of what that should be, just like we have a romanticized ideal of what a relationship with a partner should be, while often the reality is a little bit more messy and unpredictable and groundless. So one of the things I'm thinking about right now is how can we have the type of deepening unconditional, steadfast through all the ups and downs relationship with our bodies that actually supports us in the long term. As opposed to expecting our bodies to be the equivalent of Prince Charming on a white horse or something like that. I'm just starting to think about this, but I really wanted to share this with you um, as it's coming into fruition. So. Please take this as an invitation to turn toward your body in even the smallest way with the consideration of how difficult it can be at times, with the intention of having gratitude for what your body does when you're not even aware of it. It's always working to take care of you and to adapt and to protect you. Um, and when it is difficult and uncomfortable and even painful, it's not because 
it's trying to harm you. It's still working in your favor. So maybe just contemplate that however you do, whether it's at the beginning of your meditation practice or as you're in the shower in the morning or brushing your teeth um, or even as you just lie down in bed at night. Um, take a moment to, to witness that and to really feel that and whatever comes up with it. So thanks for listening and I'll see you next time.